Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Adam Draw Stuff. I'm Adam and I draw stuff, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to draw a fish. Um, this is just kind of a general, sort of a body plan for a fish that you can modify and sort of make it look however you want. But I wanna give you kind of a general foundation, a blank slate that you can use to build whatever kind of fish on you want, just some basic principles. So, if you'd like to learn how to fish, whoa, no, 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 no. If you'd like to learn how to draw a fish, just keep on watching. Okay, so to get our fish started, what we're first going to do is draw one curved line that's gonna serve as sort of a gesture line. Um, and this line is going to help us not only determine the direction that the fish is facing, but also uh, the general shape and the length of the body too. So I'm just going to draw one curved line like this. And you can draw it facing whichever direction you want. Uh, but I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna start here, so this top end of the line that's pointing to the left is gonna be the head, and then this is gonna be the tail. So I'm gonna start like this and go down. And you don't have to make this perfect, it's just a line just to sort of serve as a guideline. So, now that this gesture line is done, we're going to need to build around the line and follow that basic flow. So fish are uh, shaped, well, m I guess, they have all kinds of different shapes. But for this, um, kind of just like a generic fish, uh, we're gonna do sort of like a, almost like a torpedo shape or a bullet shape. So it'll be narrow near the head, and then it'll widen out in the middle here, and then narrow back uh, toward this end where the tail is. So I'm just going to outline around this line just like this. Okay, so now you can see we're sort of left with like a banana shape, and this shape is going to be the main largest part of the fish's body that we're gonna build all the details onto. So, now we don't need this line anymore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and erase it, and we can start adding in some details. And right in the beginning, when you're doing this basic shape, firstly, you can do it in any direction you want, whatever feels right or um, however you want the composition to be. Um, I just picked this upward curved shape at random, um, but you can arrange that however you want. So next, we're going to draw a downward curved line for the fish's bottom lip and we'll kind of have it ending sort of like in a hook shape uh, here at the end. And with another little, just a little indent on top for the top lip. Okay, so now our fish basically has a mouth. And next, we need to add in the gills. For this particular pose, it's going to be sort of a, I guess kind of a three-quarter view, but we're going to be seeing part of the fish's underbelly. So about a third of the way down, if you were to cut this whole shape into three sections, about a third of the way down is where we're going to start the gills. So we'll draw a line right here. that sort of separates it into two, uh, separates the head into two halves. The half on the left is mostly obscured, you can only see part of it, and then this whole other side is going to be the right half that'll be facing us. So we'll draw a little line down there that divides it, and then from this line, we'll branch off and draw one gill, going up and around like that, and then only a small little line that kind of shows that the other gill is wrapping around the other side of the body. Then we can get rid of this guideline here, this center line. Now attached to this gill here that's visible, we're going to draw the pectoral fin and we'll start right on the line, right on this curved line. And we'll draw one that goes up and out 
and then another that's a little bit shorter that goes down and out and then connect them with another curved line like that and just a few little lines in there just to kind of simulate the the lines and the texture in the fin so there's that and then we'll also draw another one kind of peeking out from behind the fish a little bit. And this one will be a lot smaller and barely even visible. That one will just be there. So now we'll draw the top of the fin, or well, what do you call it? We'll draw the, um, the dorsal fin, the fin that sits on top of the fish. And we'll start where the gills meet here in this little, this little point where all the gills or where both sides of the gills um, merge together and we'll go up from that and this is where the fin will begin. We'll draw a line back and then just curve down a little bit like that. And again you can throw in just a couple little lines to simulate the spines that the fins have. And then an oval shape for the eye. And fish have, most fish anyway, have pretty simple eyes. They're basically just ovals with a smaller pupil or smaller oval shape inside for the pupil. So an oval and a smaller oval. So as usual, it's looking a little bit rough right now, but um, I'm gonna go in and clean up some things and make it look uh, a lot better, so. Uh, but in this initial stage of just kind of getting the basic shapes down, I'm always pretty messy about it. No need to really stress too much about the details in the beginning. So now we'll draw two smaller fins, and I don't know what these are called, but um, most fish have them just kind of on their underbelly, and they're just really tiny fins that are the same shape as these pectoral fins are. And we'll put one facing to the right and one facing to the left. And that's those. We'll have one more fin that's longer and it follows the basic shape of the tail and the body. So we'll draw a longer line that kind of follows that same path. And it forms that longer fin down there, which you can draw a few more lines in as well. So now the last fin that we have to draw is, of course, the tail fin. And since the whole body is sort of curving up and toward the left, I'm gonna keep that same flow going with the tail fin, so it'll be curving up and toward the left as well. So the line that goes on like that. And down. And connect them together. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, we have all the body parts laid down. Now what I'm gonna go in and do is it looks really messy and pretty rough. So I'm gonna go in, clean up all the lines and uh, just kind of generally polish it up a little bit and then I'll be back with the finished product. All right, everybody, well, there is our completed fish. As you can see, I basically left everything as it was, just cleaned up the lines a little bit, I added a little bit of shading. Um, I also added kind of a two-toned uh, pattern to him, so he's darker on the top and then kind of white underneath, and then added a few bubbles, but that's basically it. Our fish is done. Quick and simple and painless, just like they always are. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw a fish with me today. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new tutorial because I've got lots more planned. And uh, if you liked this one, also feel free to go back and look at some of the other tutorials. I've got several on here already. So thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.